Hello, game guys and game gals, and welcome to another episode of GGRC. We are back with another Lawbreakers Alpha, only two weeks after the last one. If you're not familiar with what Lawbreakers is, please check out my last Lawbreakers episode to get the lowdown on it. After the last Alpha, I wasn't sure that I would be returning to Lawbreakers, due to the fact that though the game does have some good stuff going for it, when it came right down to it, I would have to say it didn't really grab me. You know how you play a game for a couple hours and there's just something about it that isn't clicking with you? I felt this way with Lawbreakers. I'm not sure what it is exactly, as it's not fair to say that it's for lack of polish because, after all, this is an alpha. However, if I had to attribute it to anything, I'd have to say it's because of the overcharge mode and the overall feel of the shooting. I covered this in the last Lawbreakers episode, but the fact that the weapons and at times the combat itself feel the way they do, it was sort of a turnoff for me. Regardless of all that, I saw that there was another alpha happening with a new mode and I wanted to be fair and give it another go. And I'm glad I did because I had a lot more fun this time around. This alpha is featuring patch .5, which is tweaked for balance issues of course, but the attraction of this alpha is the new mode called Turf War. In Turf War, there are three areas to capture. When your team captures an area, it locks down under the banner of your team and you get a point. The other team can't do anything about it, but try to get the other capture areas. Once all three areas are captured, there is a slight intermission for respawns and health gathering and then the capture area is reset and it starts all over again. The first team to 13 points wins! Of course, there is a sudden death overtime if the teams are tied at 12, where each team has to try and capture two of the three points to win. Now. In the patch notes, they promised that Turf War would be more fast-paced than Overcharge, and I have to say, I completely agree. Turf War feels more like how the game should run. It's faster, I feel like it's more rewarding for thinking on your feet, and it offers more in the way of strategy and how to approach capturing areas. On top of that, rounds are usually around 6 to 8 minutes long, and you rarely hit the 10 minute mark unless it's a great even match. Overcharge is fine and all, but once you get into a few good rounds of Turf War, I feel there's no going back. I think part of this is due to the balance changes, as the game definitely feels a bit more balanced this time around. They mess with the classes a teeny bit, mostly tweaking the Assassin class to make her melee attack less powerful, and it definitely shows. This time around, I'd have to say Vanguard owns the battlefield as the class that most people will complain about as being overpowered, but I found that Vanguard only felt this way when you let it actually happen. Now. That is to say, this is a team game, people. If you're playing with people who don't know what they're doing, two vanguards are going to run havoc on you. I played a game where my teammates didn't seem to understand that there were more than one capture area and would just sit on the one that's in our base. All the while, I would be going to the middle and try to get point B and two vanguards would just stop me. You absolutely need to work as a team, or at least be able to read your teammates tells. If you see your teammate doing something, support them. If you see your teammate already has support, move on and do something else with another teammate. It's that simple. However, on the other hand, when you are rocking it with your teammates and you guys are capturing and killing, nothing feels better. One thing that I thought was odd though, that I saw across the board with feedback from the last alpha, I saw a lot of people saying that the Enforcer just didn't feel all that fun to play, myself included. Yet there weren't any tweaks made to this class at all. On the flip side, I did find that the time I spent with the Enforcer in Turf War made him feel more useful. It's really strange going mode to mode and it feeling that way, but I feel like it might be more that Overcharge mode might need some more tweaking and attention as opposed to large changes to the classes. I still feel like combat is a little squirrely when you get right down to it. Sometimes it's hard to tell if you're shooting at the right person in close quarters or even where they went. Did they fly above you or just dart behind a crate or a wall? This seems like a blessing and a curse in the game, as at times it feels like you're used to it, but then other times you're like, whoa, where the hell did they go? Most games take a little bit of time to master. You know, the whole easy to learn, tough to master type of thing? That's all well and good, but I feel like it's taken me hours to kind of get used to enemy movement in close quarters and finding out which way they went. I feel like this shouldn't be the case. Of course, this could just be me. These eyes just ain't what they used to be, if you know what I mean. 
The one other thing that I think still needs to be addressed is the UI. The HUD for your character really needs to be tweaked. I think health still needs to be more prominent, as do the special ability cooldowns. However, all that aside, Turf Mode definitely gets a thumbs up from me, as far as fun multiplayer games go. If Lawbreakers continues in this fashion, I can really see it becoming something I return to now and then. Well there you go everyone, that was the Lawbreakers Turf Mode Alpha. I'll see you next time. You are still in the lead.